Precepts are what they say, positive laws. Positive laws are human laws. Uh, they say you have to do this. The precepts of the church are set in the context of a moral life bound to and nourished by liturgical life. So the way you pray, your spirituality is all tied to this. And so the first precept, Catholics should attend Sunday Mass where possible. The Mass is the principal form of worship where the community gathers, the church gathers, and there we worship God, the Father, in the sacrifice of Christ, uh, in unity of the Holy Spirit. So there we renew our identity as a child of God, renew what it means to be Catholic, and we continue to rely on Christ to sustain and nourish the life of the church. The second precept is to confess one's sins minimum once a year. The Gospel calls for a continual conversion to encounter God, but also to recognise with humility our own brokenness. The priest is not there to judge you as a human person. He's there to mediate. It is in this sacrament that we celebrate God's mercy in our life. The third precept is the Easter duty. It's a reminder that at the minimum, we should receive the Eucharist at least once a year. If you go for daily Mass, by all means, receive Christ every day. What the Eucharist recalls is the breaking of bread, which Christ gave at the Last Supper. And He says, do this in memory of me. Now, He journeys with us in very tangible form, not in wishful thinking, but in bread and wine. Things that we can touch and see and taste and consume. The fourth precept is about fasting and abstinence. The Bishop's Conference said that Fridays should remain a day of penance, reminding ourselves that Christ died on Good Friday to pause and to rethink the things that we want to do, the things that we want to have. Are they necessary? The point of this corporate fasting and abstinence is to exercise an element of self-denial, whether it, it be uh, computer games, whether it's television, Netflix, be creative in what you want to give up for this day in honour of the Lord. And the fifth precept, the church invites us to provide for the needs of the Catholic Church. Out of our baptism arises certain obligation on our part to make sure that the church, you and I included, continue to fulfil its apostolate. We invite them to be generous to the degree that they're able to. But more importantly, to feel that they want the church to develop, to grow, and to fulfill its mission in Singapore, as a Singapore church. And that's where the sense of belonging, the sense of ownership, that's important in the fifth precept. So the church takes it on herself to say, these are the five things that you should do for the good of your moral life. So the requirement for going for Mass is tied to your spiritual life. The requirement to go for confession is also tied to your spiritual life. Each one is asked to take responsibility for his or her spiritual life also and to continue on this path of conversion.